Welcome back to Garage 23. So it's actually been a while since we've gone to the junkyard, so that's what this video is going to be about today. So if you haven't seen our other junkyard videos, you want to make sure that you stick to the very end so you can see what the junkyard prices are versus the dealership. And honestly, I think we're going to the junkyard more so today so we can actually try our new backpack. Wow! So we got from Joey. Yes, very thankful to our thoughtful friend Joey from Kobe Mart. But it's a really cool backpack um, and Reddit has it already stuffed with his tools. So if you go to the junkyard, make sure you take your tools, a backpack, a hat, wear your sunscreen, take a water bottle, no white shoes. Yeah. So hopefully we find what we're looking for. So see you guys in a bit. So Red hasn't come to this junkyard in quite some time and this is actually the Gilbert location and we usually are in Phoenix so we decided to try a new spot today and see what kind of inventory they have here. So wish us luck. In fact there a uh, random guy he asked us if we had a 14, what was it, a 14 mil wrench that he needed? So that felt nice to be able to help someone because we had the extra tools carrying around. So just keep that in mind and try to be as well prepared as you can. Rather be over prepared than under prepared. Another maximum. So far, what are your, what the? Oh, sweet babies. What is this? It's a child's, child's project. Okay. Well, I'm hiring them for our next paint job. That's for sure. Well, it's beige, so I can't fault them for wanting to keep it from blending into the environment around here. Manual. Transmission's gone. There we go. Jeez. Whoop. Sit tight. Squeeze. What are your thoughts so far of this junkyard? It's not that different from the other ones. I mean, there's slightly newer cars, which kind of works against us because we need a 90s car, but it's nice. It's another part of it. Lexus 300, 2002. Seems like Maxima is the flavor of the month here. It's so funny that I switched from my S14 back to my Altima to not have these kind of issues of having to scrounge around for parts, even at junkyards. And now even Altimas are going extinct. A Super Woo. Super Woo? It's a nice color. Yeah. Everything is on it. Everything is completely stripped. 2002 Super Impreza. It's a good selection of Maximos, but I haven't seen an Ultima yet. Four, four, four banging. Four banging. It sure is banging. <laughs>
Nice interior. Three Toyota Celica. It's nice. Such a shame it's here. Oh. Pretty stripped on the inside. It doesn't look like it was crashed either. Somebody just no. gave it away. Another GF8 wagon. This one's a little beat. Manual. I still want one of these. 98. One of these with an RB swap. <laughs> Another Maxima. Looks like this person ate at Taco Bell. Ooh, 90s golf. Four door. Tiny little engine. My neighbor had one of these when I was a little kid. That was the coolest thing ever. Just slammed on some BBS wheels. Probably slow as hell, but I thought it was fast at the time. <laughs> oh no, what happened? Pretty gutted. What year is this one? Oh four. It's not a nineties Ultima. Ninety eight or ninety nine. Yeah, maybe. Top half got snatched up. Interesting. Anything you can grab from this one? Nope. Mitsubishi clips. So we didn't find anything at Pull and Save out in Gilbert, so we came to you Pull and Pay here in Phoenix and we feel a little bit more confident enough to grab one of their carts and we'll see what we find. Oh, it's so miserable already. It's barely March. I think it's like, what, 90 degrees? I don't know, it's hot. Well, at least you can get yourself a Nerf gun. Remembered all my tools, even brought some extra tools. I forgot my hat. Do you guys ever have that? Like you make sure to bring everything that was like on your list and then yet you get here and you still forget something. Those guys look like, look like they had fun today. I see. Austin, you do anything? <laughs> Let's take a look. Austin or Joey.
93. And over here we have a 97 Lexus 400. So the calipers are going What is this? Toyota MRS Spider. Three hundred yet. Oh, it's the wife. The wife. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched either of those. Anymore. All the bricks are gone. All the dead. Everything. Ninety-three. Despite my comment the other day on the stereo video that nobody listens to the radio anymore. Somebody really liked the radio. <laughs> Power 92, today's best music. <laughs> 99.55, The Edge. 92, KQRS. KISS FM 102.7. Those aren't even from Arizona. I don't know what that car's from. Alright, so my camera died, so we'll see how my new Samsung S22 Ultra compares to my camera. So, anyways, carry on. So, I can't find an Ultima anywhere. So, my backup plan is just to grab an alternator since the alternator on the right car I think is going bad, but it keeps testing good. So, I'm not sure if it's actually the alternator. So, I don't want to buy a brand new one. So, I think we should just grab one from the junkyard. And I've been looking for something that's already out of the car, and this whole engine is out of the car. So, big plus. Now I just gotta flip it over. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Remember, lift with your legs. Keep your back straight. Yeah, throw out your back. Do you need my help? I think he's got it. Just like the dung beetle. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like a dung beetle. Shit. Okay. Man, this looks like it's remanufactured or something. Remy technical support. I got technical support. Alright, that's good enough for me. And Relatively quiet. There's no play. Good enough. Let's go. Oh. Manufactured in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny that a lot of people say buy American. Don't buy, you know, imports or whatever. But most of the imports are now made in North America. Like Nissan has a plant in Tennessee. I think one in California now? I'm not sure. But they also had one in Mexico. Where it's a lot of like US manufacturers are getting parts from overseas. So.
I'm gonna have to figure out which uh, those two wires that is. These both of these wires actually get 12 volts from the car, but one is a switch switch 12 volts from like the battery, and the other one goes through your gauge cluster and it goes through that little light that illuminates the battery warning. And if it's not connected right, like if you connect them backwards, you'll have a parasitic draw through the battery. And so it'll drain your battery over, it'll be pretty slow. I mean, it'll take like about three or four days of you not turning on the car for it to actually not be able to crank. So you want to get these two wired properly. And then obviously the big post is just straight to the battery or starter than battery, depending on how your car is set up, whatever. What are your thoughts on the backpack? Very convenient. I like that it stands up on its own. And it keeps like its shape, so it's more like a box than, than a bag. Because the other one I would carry my impact in it and then it would like sag a lot and put it back. This one's pretty cool. Walking out with an alternator and well, we had quite a show <laughs> waiting in line. <laughs> that was the first. A long ass line, I'm like what the hell's going on? And some lady came in wearing like this full on painter's jumpsuit, white jumpsuit. And apparently she had a bunch of speakers taped to her ass and crotch area and stuff. <laughs> and they made her untape everything. Booty cheeks everywhere. <laughs> I guess it was the second day and um, they came out and they're like, you parked right under the camera. We saw everything. It was the second day you come by and try to steal stuff again. Oh man. Another day in the get to. This is fun for the workers. Yeah. Entertaining for sure. Alright, junkyard number three for today. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Supposedly they have one ultimate here, but I doubt that. It's hidden in the forward section, so it might have some. Oh, I do see it over there. Hopefully, it's not smashed. time I ever seen one with leather interior like this. The one you used to drive had leather. Really? Yeah. Hmm, I remember. Will this work or yeah. so are we taking a big L today? Well we got the alternator. Inside of a VQ manifold looks like. I was so mad because when I was in the middle of VQ swapping or HR swapping the Ultima from the DE motor that I used to have, I found an Ultima, like an 08 or 09 Ultima Coupe with the V6. And I had gotten, I spent most of the morning, I gotten it like 95% of the way out. And I ended up leaving it because I found that the part numbers for like the top end of the motor is different. So the Ultima BQ35 HRs don't have variable timing on the exhaust. They don't rev as high and the intake is smaller and the throttle body. And I think the valves are supposedly different too. Like they're Inconel filled on the, or sodium filled on the Maxima and not on the Ultima. Um, valve springs had different part numbers too. And so I was like, 
Man, I got this thing like 95% of the way out. And it's not even like the one that I need or want. So I just ended up leaving it. And on that day, they were on special. If you pull a motor yourself, V6s were like 250 bucks or something like that. And so I just ended up leaving it. And then I kept searching for a few months. And one of the other yards had one for sale, but it was one of those yards that you don't go in and pull stuff yourself. They just have it for you. And but the, it had a warranty, so eh. But I ended up paying $1,100 for the motor. And one of my buddies, Angel, um, he used the Ultima motor and just put the maximum intake and throttle body on it. And it's probably just as fast as my car, or maybe a little faster. I don't know. We still haven't really 100% gone head to head, but it's really close. Definitely not, you know. $800 in difference. <laughs> so I still feel pretty stupid for leaving that motor here. I got it for 200 bucks. But you learn, whatever. When we got first, I got the, we had just the GTR trans just laying here. The GTR trans look almost exactly like this, but the transfer case is facing the other way. But it still looks pretty neat. I'm sure somebody out there is like, Oh my god, a five-speed pathfinder transmission. Alright, so we'll see you guys in a bit and compare the price for our 119.